Tonight we continue our Commitment 2014 election coverage with extensive polling results from the Albuquerque Journal. I talked with our political analyst Brian Sanderoff who conducted the polls for the paper. Today's topic, the race for the roundhouse, specifically the Hispanic vote. History has shown for a Republican to win a statewide race in New Mexico, they have to do well with the Hispanic vote, which usually goes to the Democrat. One of the ingredients to Susana Martinez's success four years ago was getting almost 40 percent of the Hispanic vote. By getting so many crossover Hispanic Democrats, she was able to win with ease four years ago. In this election cycle, we're finding the same thing is occurring. Sunday's journal poll asked, if the election for governor were held today, who would you vote for? Republican Susana Martinez or Democrat Gary King? Of the 603 responses, 54% answered incumbent Susana Martinez, and 36% said challenger Gary King. 10% are undecided or won't say, but what about the important Hispanic vote? Since the last poll of a month ago, Susana Martinez has increased her percentage of the Hispanic support from 36% to 44%. The journal poll shows King still leads with Democrats with 45% to Martinez's 44%. In fact, Susana Martinez is in about a tie with Gary King right now among Hispanics. This is highly unusual for a Republican. With an overall lead with New Mexico voters and a virtual tie with Hispanic voters, the difference maker is money. And Sandroff says there is a huge difference right now. Martinez has $4 million in the bank. King has roughly 150000 The Martinez campaign has lots of money. They've been spending that money on TV commercials. They've been hard-hitting ads. The King campaign has not been able to answer them in the last month. And you can see more details and analysis on the poll in today's Albuquerque Journal. Now, tomorrow in the paper, the poll asks if the election for U.S. Senate were held today, who would you vote for, Republican Alan Way or Democrat Tom Udall?